Oh, I dep Krasnauts, man's Paborian, and welcome back to some more goodness that is Kerbal Space Program. Last time we were here, we had a successful mission. We built a craft entirely out of stock, got ourselves to Juna, and returned. It got a bit shaky at some points. We didn't know if we were going to get back, we didn't know if we were going to land, but we did, and it all went according to plan, which is always good times in the Kerbal Space Program. But today's mission is going to raise a few concerns for the simple fact that, although I did say I didn't want to go to Jewel, Lave is possibly the planet that I'm most interested in, apart from Juno itself. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a quick clip, and it will it will kind of outline today's mission. So, with the magic of video editing, be right back. All right, there, procrastinators. So, what exactly are we looking at here? Well, as you can see, I've got the return of lander craft, getting ready to do a descent onto Lave. Believe me. It was not easy actually finding land to land on. It was, it was redonkulous, absolutely redonkulous. As you can see here, I'm having to do a few orbital corrections because the land mass that I'm trying to land on here has a lot of slopes on it, and through previous experience, has m not done well to land on at all. Nobody likes landing on a slanty surface, especially the Kerbals. But now you can see here I'm getting ready to do my deorbit burn now the thing the, the issue I need to tackle with this is that the Nerva engines are just not strong enough to get ourselves up a little bit now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward time a little bit here we're going to get to the landing point uh, let's have a look I am watching this as I'm recording over it so I need to time this all correctly with my with the voiceover yeah here we go we're going to land we're going to land Okay, here we go. I'll slow this down again. So as you can see, the thrusters are doing their job quite nicely. And once we touch down, my initial reaction is to then test how well this thing will get up. And uh, as I said, it just doesn't have enough power. Even with the bottom uh, section unattached, it still causes more issues than it solves. So as you can see here, we're going to touch down quite nicely. I was very impressed to get here. The amount of quick saves and quick loads I did was unbelievable. Quick save, quick load, quick save, quick load, quick save, quick load. Very, very, very awkward indeed. But after a successful touchdown, um, which we are going for... Come on, come on, come on. Here. Right, here we go. Yes, right, nice. So... What my initial reaction here is to jettison the lander tank because we've used all the fuel and ascend to glory. But after throwing the sass on, engaging the thrusters, you can see that we are not getting any lift whatsoever. In fact, the the lander has become stuck to the rest of the escape pod. And as you can see, tip over, boom. Everyone's screaming the reds off. Kerbal's not very happy. But that's that anyway. So back to me over in the studio. Alright, so as you can see, our mission ahead is a bit of a tough one. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a very, very basic lander design. Um, the way I'm going to tackle it is I'm going to try and build a lander that can escape Kerbin. And if we can do that, then we know we can get ourselves into orbit around Lave, and then we can be later picked up by another craft. Uh, which means I'm going to have to probably install another mod, and that one will be the DYJ crew tank, I believe. Um, that will be the only additional part that I'll put in, I should hope so anyway, for the simple fact that in the next update, we're getting crew tanks as, sta Ooh, excuse me, uh, crew tanks as standard, which is amazing to say the least. I have no idea how I'm going to build this today. Um, I need to conduct some experiments, so this is going to be fun to say the least. Fun for you guys, anyway. Not so much fun for me, there's going to be lots and lots of explosions, and yes, it's never a good thing, so we need some landing legs, definitely. We can't forget landing legs, landing legs are the most important thing. We also can't forget our good old friend, the Renders Protractor mod, so we'll stick you on there, same as always. In fact, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll raise you up. Ha, ah, it does actually have tape on it, I didn't even realise. Never mind. Right, so what we do is we can have this kind of system along with wherever those strange decouplers I used for the additional tanks yesterday. Right, okay. Um, 
yes, that looks about right. So what am I going to need? I'm going to need several tanks, several strengthy, very, very strengthy tanks. Um, what I'm also going to need as well is some sort of Nerva engine for the trek on the way there. Uh, what would happen if I was to put Nerva engines? You see, they weigh quite a bit, which is never good, never good at all. Um, throw that down there. Right, okay, so... Hmm, hmm, indeed. No, we can't have that, can we? That's not going to work because the legs aren't going to touch the floor and I would like to generate sh some additional thrust. In fact, how well does that lone engine react there with a full tank of fuel? Let's find out, shall we? We'll head to, over to the launch pad and then from there we can adjust and make things better. With a bit of luck, anyway. So at least it actually stands up on end, so that's good times. Um, we don't actually have a SAS on this machine, so I don't know why I'm putting it on. But I am going to adjust the landing legs so it's as if we're sat there. Alright, good, it looks like it sits okay. Um, so now all we can do is thrust. Okay, right, as you can see, that is not giving us any lift at all, so we're going to need some sort of additional lift. Um, so it's back to the drawing board, back with those the couplers. Um, where are you? Give me these bad boys. First off, let's go with two, shall we? Um, let's get this and you know, what, let's get let's get this and this. See how that works, and we will then also get a couple of these engines. These are all going to be redesigned for the next update, although they are going to operate on the same principles. I don't think there's any rebalance needed in regards to them so they should be pretty damn good let's have, let's have a go at this launch Bill, Jim and I and Bob being our little test guinea pigs for this mission um, throw down the landing legs see if it will lift itself up okay it does oh god they are very wavy I did not think about struts but we will think about struts once we have a design that works and it looks like we have a design that works, but does it get us into the atmosphere? That is the question. In fact, seeing as how we are going up on this angle, I'm going to end the flight. We know we can get lift. So the next stage of this design, I believe, will be... Um, well, let's put some struts on it first, shall we? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yes, go. And... go that should hold them in place you know what? I'll put some additional ones on this lower tank as well because I, I actually watched those videos back from the recording session yesterday and as it turns out the reason why the rocket was exploding so much was because of the landers tank in this kind of stage here I'm gonna take that off we're gonna throw on one of these because everyone needs an advanced sass and uh, right okay I will also throw on some parachutes, not small ones. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Right, okay, for the time being, I suppose we don't really need those decouplers to actually function, so I will put them up there. Um, this parachute doesn't need to activate as well, so we can get rid of that one, because that will be an extra parachute for landing. And I think we'll go with this yes okay right oh okay so I'm gonna get some fuel lines as well ah this is coming together this one is so um, from the bottom tank we'll see if we can get these uh, on the center there yeah and have it going straight across into this tank here all right good time so let's give this another go shall we launch and we'll see if we can get this into orbit. If this gets into orbit, then this is our landed design. Uh, the next thing we'll need to do is put on some Nerva engines. Oh god, we're wobbling around on that engine at the bottom there. I need to do something about this. Uh, thrust up and go. Right, okay. So let's see how long it takes these tanks to burn out. Which one's being used? Is it top ones? It is the top ones. So those bottom ones are going to burn out very fast, given its current rate of ascent. Maybe I shouldn't have put fuel lines. Hmm. Alright, okay, so just keep burning away those tanks. Let's see. 
Nah, we are, we are going to be pushing a look for this one, I think, by the looks of things, so... Oh, God! No. <laughs> End flight. Uh, you see, we only need to go 50,000 metres, so let's have another go, this time without the fuel lines, and see how that treats us. Launch! Again, same thing. Uh, we didn't put the landing legs out last time, but we'll do it this time, just because we can. Right, okay. Throw that up, and let's see how we go. Okay, landing legs can be undeployed. Now, we are still using a fair bit of fuel, more than I'd like to be using. Perhaps I'm using the wrong engines for the job. Maybe I should use smaller engines. Uh, perhaps those, um, the, the tiny orbital engines. That could be a good one to check out. We will go for that next. But until then, let's just fly this one up. Because we're now coming down to these engines here. Um, can move that stage there so we can then disconnect that tank and then we can see how it reacts. I mean, after all, there's no no harm in trying, is there, ladies and gentlemen? Hmm. Perhaps, maybe, whoop, whoop, whoop. Perhaps, maybe, just maybe, um, I sure, I, I don't know. Hmm. Right, the speed is dropping rapidly, so... Oh, God, no, no, that's not going to help us at all, is it? Right. Let's try and speed this. Whoa, wobbly, wobbly. <laughs> uh, 74.3. Yes, we're starting to climb, so this is building up a bit of speed. That's good news. Come on, keep on climbing. All you need to do is get to 10,000 and we'll begin a very, very, very slight gravity turn. We are nowhere near as high or going as fast as what I need to be though so we still could be going for a bit of an issue but no matter we will work this out as we go 10,000 right let's let's begin we'll do we'll do this very slightly all right hold it there down to half fuel you can do it we still aren't even out the, we're just about to breach this part of the atmosphere into the next part Hmm, interesting, interesting. So it could do with more, f uh, well, more fuel, really, in all fairness, just to give itself a bit of extra thrust. That would mean changing no side tanks for some bigger tanks, maybe. Who knows? I wonder if I could get away with half of these size. Nah, that's probably a bit too big, isn't it, really? Especially for when it comes into land. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do this. Let's throw on some extra time warp, see how it goes. Wobble, 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 wobble. I was hoping we'd be picking up a lot more Delta V about now. You see, we might actually make it into space, but we're not going to make it out the at uh, into orbit. Not proper, anyway, so you know what, I'm going to throw out this kind of direction. We are picking up some serious speed though. We are like nearly up to a 1k speed so we're getting closer. We're getting closer with our designs here. Maybe I should actually use a smaller tank. No, because then I won't be able to fit the tanks at the side. Hmm. It is an interesting one. It is an interesting one. You see, we'd be out the atmosphere now if this was leave. Because it does end at like 50 something I think. I think that's what it was. I can't really remember. But when like I said, we're not gonna make it into orbit, which is exactly what we need we need to achieve. Yeah, see there we go, it's out. Right, okay, end flight. Vehicle assembly building. Uh what if I were to no see I need to move these decouplers right up. Right up indeed. Um See, it'll only go so far. Oh, then again, I can do it like that. I never even thought about it like that. Um, throw that on there. Can I grab this protractor and just shift it around? Uh, grab this. God, it's so awkward to grab. Uh, right. X for that. Um, take this up. Well, actually, we don't need that engine or that tank. Let's uh, 
try that. Hmm. And then I probably need some Sepatrons as well. To s nah, that's a bit too stupid, isn't it? It looks a bit too stupid. It, so it must be a bit too stupid. Right, yeah. Reconsider that as one of my options, definitely. Uh, perhaps maybe if I went... Like that. How's that treat me? Hmm. I hope those landing legs do not... Uh, now, maybe perhaps get myself some of those little engines. In fact, let's have a look at the consumption of this. Uh, Poodle light engine, max plus 220. 120... Um, I don't know actually. Now that is a good question. You know what? We'll go with this. We'll have it down here. And um, let's go with that. So launch this one again. All these crazy landing designs, man. So thrust up. Hopefully the engine doesn't shake off. Yeah, as you can see, we've we've now don't have enough for us. So end flight and fly uh, vehicle assembly bell and swap these engines for the bigger ones that I just had. Curses! Right, launch. With these bigger tanks, this might work now. I hope anyway. I also want to test out the landing gear. It's not going to belt off those tanks. No, it hasn't. That's good news. Right, okay, same again. Launch. Now. Oh, no, 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 no. End flight. I didn't put the engines in the right stage. Ah, curses. Sorry if you guys think this is a boring episode, but this is my testing process. This is what I go through every time when I used to practice, but I want to start bringing the testing phases to you, to you guys so you can see my uh, thought process, as it were. Let's have a go. Alright, it's on its legs, da -la 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 -la, thrust up, -la 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 -la. launch. Right, okay, so that's not really caused it many problems. Uh, we are seeing a bit of wobble, I am not phased, I can fix that as and when. Um, -do 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 -do. Alright, so let's see how long these tanks actually last as opposed to what they did beforehand. If I'm lucky enough, they may even get me to the thin part of the atmosphere with relative ease. I hope so anyway. 